Thanks. Um, I had one question, um, and this is kind of a, a few months back. I felt like I was abducted in the middle of the night. It's pretty vivid, and it was on uh, June 2nd uh, this year. Um, I was wondering if you could look into my classic record, and uh, it happened in the middle of the early morning of that day. Uh huh. Were you asleep you in your room? Kind of, Were you asleep in your room? I, I was asleep, and then uh, all of a sudden I was conscious, but I couldn't open my eyes, and I was on my back, and uh, it felt uh, like multiple people were in the room doing to me, doing things to me, and uh, I remember feeling very angry, and then I remember uh, losing consciousness again. All right, I'm I'm tuning in. I think you actually woke up in a dream experience. So there are times when you are in deep dream and something is happening to another version of you um, in the dream world, because in your dream world, you have many versions of you running and continuously running, whether you're asleep or awake, doesn't matter. There are multiple versions. And one particular version that is on the, let's just say, truly trying to heal path, um, had a big, big incoming healing process and all those beings that you perceived around you were its guides, guardians, and stuff helping it because it is technically on another timeline that is about to be shut down. And when that timeline shuts down, you will integrate that soul shard and literally get new memories that you never knew you had. But you will know that you've had them because they're the memories of another you. And they will not be in competitions with the memories that you have now of the you of the now. And that's why you've linked through this dream world process. It's a premonition of what's to come for you. Hmm. Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah, Pretty concerned about that dream, uh, uh, or that moment. It was uh, pretty weird. I was having a lot of weird moments throughout that week. Um, um, and uh, just a few days later, on uh, June 9th, the same year, uh, I felt like uh, I was just standing around while I was at work, but I felt like I was scanned on multiple layers. Like, I felt my my very being like split into like maybe four pieces, like kind of like and being scanned, like the physical, the nervous system, the energy system, uh -huh. uh, uh, my skeletal frame, my muscle frame. That's you know. the continuation of the healing. So the soul shard, it, it doesn't come in at a hundred miles an hour and just always land perfectly. You know, it takes time to integrate. And that feeling of being scanned like that, well, part of that was the continuing unknowingness factor of what was going on. First, you were not abducted. You did not have UFO energy around you, nor did you have time distortion. This is a full-on dream interaction, meaning when you woke up and became lucid in the dream, you were still having issue between which was the real you, even though they're both the real you. You are a multidimensional being innately. So there was no, no distortion, separation energy from technology creating that, or no, no curse or no magic creating that. It was solely you creating it. And it was a challenge to know what side was you. And once you chose your side, you had already lost. You had created an expectation and thought you were being harmed and full used your anger and turned on your adrenal gland. As soon as you said you got mad, there's, there's adrenals. Adrenals completely train, change the lucidity. Now, off-worlders and negatives want us to go into uh, to adrenal glands because they can control at that point. Well, once you go into adrenal gland, you still have other abilities to control. What I can say is for anyone that's out there that thinks they are having a negative experience, if it comes on like a monster movie and it's blood, guts, and gore, and fear, and all of this stuff, you have at any point in time can demasculate it all. I want you to think of 10,000 swords coming out of every direction, cutting every fabric of relay or reality and shredding it 
and then you reintegrating the reality. And every time something of, of the horror movie tries to re-imprint you, simply start shredding it like it's paper. The reality is that mutable. And when off-worlders go to, let's say, use you in that scenario, if you are well-practiced with the swords, the blades, the fire, whatever it is that you're used to melt the reality and reshape it around, and once you're able to do that good enough, you actually will be able to do harm on a psychic level to those off-worlders that are in the negatives that are trying to do it. And remember, they're all linked into a collective. So when you do any form of damage, even if it's, you know, uh, you know making them laugh, you affect the whole collective. And they're really quite easy. They're like a house of cards, really. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm.